How's it going guys? It's Dan from Skatemates and welcome to a video on my first experience of Shattered Worlds. So how's it going guys and welcome back. So I have been ill for like a week. I'm not even logged on RuneScape and I've decided to venture to Shadow Worlds for the first time without knowing anything about this place except looking at the odd RuneScape video. I'm planning to do floors 1 to 50 and then cashing out to see what the rewards are like and see what I'm going to get. Note, this is not an informative guide, this is just my first dumb opinion on this minigame. If you're looking for a more in-depth information on it, I'll leave a link to Mikeru's video down below. He does a lot more about Shattered Worlds mechanics and it is a nifty video so I'll leave that in the description. So from watching the odd RuneScape video about this new minigame, where you work up from levels 1 to 4000, even though I'll probably get stuck at like 100, you get anima, which then you convert into slayer related rewards and new cheeky abilities. This is available for Iron Man and is a safe minigame so you don't lose items. What I'm going to do is I'm going to time how long it takes to do the 50 levels and then we'll look at the juicy rewards I get from that. Let's go. So that's 50 levels completed and I think I've underestimated this minigame's lower levels. I didn't even use any food. It took me 1 hour 10 minutes, which is probably painfully slow, and I achieved 5.3 million anima, and that's with the bonus anima for completing the worlds for the first time. You also get loads of other nifty stats that... Does anybody really care about these stats? I guess you would if you're addicted to seeing your max hit. So rewards wise, the two abilities cost 63 million anima, so there's a long way to go before I can unlock them. I've been told if you camp like level 80 to 100, you can expect around 5 million anima an hour, so you're looking at around 13 hours per ability. The Abyssal Slayer contract and the Huge Slayer Lamp are probably a waste of time. The Sigil, the Sigil of Slaying would be nice for extra XP. The Ferocious Sigil seems a little bit pointless as it only works in Curadel's dungeon and you're probably better just having the Sigil of Slaying. And the Aggression Sigil, again, probably better just to buy aggression potions instead of spending 9 hours here trying to get it. And then there's obviously Fashion Scape. Then there's pets, like really, is somebody really going to spend 30 hours here to get the pet? Ugh. If you do, hats off to you, proud of you, but I'm not. <laughs> and then there's all the Slayer masks, which are quite cool, but seriously, I think they're just overpriced. The time spent to grind these masks here, you'd just be better walking to the damn monster you want to kill. These really don't apply to me either, because I did get them all when I did the Treasure Hunter video. So I do have pretty much all of these, but... You're going to have to spend hours and hours here just to get the mass, which it just, it's just not worth it. Overall, looking back, I probably should have streaked to 100. I was a bit stupid to cash out on 50. I am interested to unlock and try the new abilities because anything that will improve my DPS is always a bonus. Other than that, the sigils may come into consideration, especially the slain one, even though they do need recharging. And that's really where my interest ends. I feel like this is definitely a good minigame and is going to be really funny when people are streaking really high, but new rewards may need to be added. Tell me what you think about this minigame down below, and if you want me to try and street this as far as I can, even though that'll probably go terribly wrong, please do leave that down below as well. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video. 
Peace. What will it be today? You keep taking me.